Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Sleepy Penguin Entertainment. And as you can see, of course, by the thumbnail, another season of EA Sports UFC 4 ranked has come and gone. Brand new season started a few days ago. So I just want to upload my placement matches. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so first fight we're using Conor McGregor, as you can see, against Shavkal Orachmanov. And I, the reason that I like uploading my placement matches, you notice I do it quite regularly, and I hope you guys enjoy them. But I feel like it's the most um, authentic way to view how I play the game. Like obviously if there were a fight coming up. Let's just say for instance the uh, the Sean O'Malley showcase last, I think it was two days ago. Um, with that, I feel like if the fight doesn't go right the first time, second time, third time, however many times. No, usually it does go right the first time. And if not, at least the second time. But I feel like these are way more transparent. And I feel like you can you can see exactly what you know I'm doing or what's going on. If I'm having a bad day, you're gonna really see it. And I'll be honest, you know there are there are parts of these fights where I guess you could say I'm having a bad day. You know I I wasn't at my absolute best, but I still performed well enough. And I think they're of a quality that I would like you guys to see. But let's just say they weren't. Let's just say they weren't of that quality. I think that you guys will be able to see you know if there were real holes in my game. Um. And a lot of what I upload, as I say, is just, you know, videos, upcoming fights, or fights I'd done previously that I really like the look of. Whereas here, there's nothing to hide behind as we get the first knockdown of the fight. I feel like I am oh, in a rolling thunder to go with it. Um, big shot, knockdown. Can we get the finish here? We may be able to get the finish here. No, I stood back up. I don't know why I stood back up. Maybe I want them to get back to the feet. Nice spin, to be fair. But, um... He is, we've probably outmatched him here. I don't think he's really on the level needed to take us down. And we're going to clear out the first fight, really. You know, very straightforward. Obviously got rocked. Shouldn't have. I get rocked a lot in these fights. Um, you'll see that I get rocked a lot, which was strange. Um, usually, when I want to upload these for you guys, I lose my first placement match. I know, I think it was yesterday, JMMA was talking about losing his first placement match too. It happens, it happens to me regularly enough in the past few seasons. Or even worse yet, is what would happen to me, is that I may win the first four placement matches, and I drop the fifth one really, really bad. Like, in a way, so bad that it just makes the whole video really unwatchable. And I think I've thrown out a lot of footage like that because i've just been so so disappointed with how those went bad bad error from us there and the first thing that happened the first thing i did when i got dropped in that situation was i looked at my head held straight away because i knew i left myself super vulnerable and i ate that head kick flush like there was no block nothing to protect me from it so i was really really panicking in that situation and i knew that it may be over i'm glad I'm really glad that I didn't take a much previous damage to the head because if I had there it probably would have been night night and early and as I said ruining this video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be careful and what I noticed with this player was this player left their body very 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 wide open. It was very easy to land body shots on this player as you can see there is no big uppercut knocks us down again now i have no issue with that i feel like that was a really good pull from them rather than a mistake for me like when i threw the front kick so these knocked down but they're definitely winning this fight so far and we do do want to change that obviously we don't want to get our ass ass whooped in place with match number two so we're just gonna chill on the bottom here try to recover our head health a little bit and try to reassess the garbage we've been throwing as you can see he um he was throwing very predictable combos on the ground and pound like i think it was hook straight hook straight and obviously you know we're going to be able to avoid that in that situation use it to get back to our feet standing in front of Vanderlei Silva man is a very very daunting daunting prospect but as you can see right he circles out the body shot is on the body shots on all fight long we land the kick there now the thing I wanted to do most in this fight with Bisping was I actually wanted to spin to the body um, and the reason why I didn't spin to the body the way I wanted to, I think we throw one in the whole fight, maybe me coming up shortly, I'm not sure, but the reason why I didn't spin to the body was because I knew if Vanderlei caught me big again after two knockdowns that it was game, set, match, it was all over. Two big shots up top, we circle out well, knee to the body, probably his stamina was what saved us there, 
but again we look for that body kick circles that we decide to pull it back not throw that yet so first round as you can see is going very very well for my opponent um i'm just glad to be surviving at this point even though i am slowly slowly starting to make reads which will benefit me in the second round body kick there hook uppercut i do we go for another body kick we don't before the end of the round we just take a small small straight to the face second round things needed to change i offered a glove touch offered a glove touch in the first round too wasn't accepting of it i just wanted to make sure that was the case and standing now feet planted is vanderlei silva leaves that body kick open so we're going to try to take that take it again there body kick you know cross body kick seems to be the combo cross body kick again hurt them jab cross sorry cross to the body body kick misses that's okay we're out of range nothing's going to come back at us feeling comfortable now as we get rocked why would i be feeling comfortable you ask so we get rocked we back up a little bit goes to the body three times big shots maybe should have got him a rock i'll be honest you know big big shots vanderlei silva to the body but we're just going to go back to the bread and butter that rocked our opponent earlier Ooh, big rock there do i go for a body kick i definitely should and i do big body kick straight uppercut get rocked again we're really taking a beating in this one but i feel like you know we're in no real danger and i hate saying that i hate saying that we're in no danger when we're taking shots but we do knock our opponent down there the body damage is starting to tell straight again looking for the uppercut behind it should probably and will probably go back to the body kick as you can see there body kick again no body protection whatsoever so now we're just trying to walk forward without getting absolutely whacked but as you can see our stamina is a really real advantage for us go for the clinch i was going to be honest i was going to push him back against the cage as you can see there and try to be a little bit grubby with the knees we don't need to now as you can see i was on about one thing to spin to the body i tried it there because i felt confident didn't land and uh we don't go back to it again but he's cooked now we tried to get him to block low you know we've been kicking the body try to get a head kick doesn't work seems to have no real you know intention of letting us attack high blocks the takedown because the i felt that the block was never going low so i decided to try a takedown didn't particularly work for us in that sense in that regard in that time but now really really low stamina hook to the body uppercut up top it gets a little bit glitchy from here on in i don't know if it's my internet but as you can see we do get the knockdown absolutely drain the body made an adjustment which I would say is an important thing to note. Made an adjustment because we were getting pieced up on the feet. And um, it worked for us. You know, we we went to the body shots and they paid dividends. Fight number three, Nate Diaz against Tony Elkakui Ferguson. So obviously we know Tony's a little bit more chinny now, isn't as resilient as he used to be on the game. And I feel like if we can do one of two things, one is we're going to try to pop him in the face. But I feel like we'd have a huge, huge stamina advantage with Nate Diaz if we were able to wear Tony down and leave him at a point where he was vulnerable. You know, kind of really, really work him into a state of tiredness and make things very, very dirty. Because unfortunately for Tony now, he lacks a lot of what he used to have before he got, um, before he got his stats reduced. So that's very unfortunate for tony but you can kind of understand why a little bit too you know um our opponent is walking backwards and backwards and backwards and backing up so what i'm going to look to do body shot there is very nice i think what i'm going to look to do is if our opponent wants to walk backwards we're just going to pressure him i feel like since my internet connection has improved and that's ironic you're going to see how ironic that is in the next fight but oh we get set down by a big big uppercut um going to the body and i feel like since you know my connections improved i can pressure people a lot better so we're gonna just try to get tony to walk backwards there again because nate diaz is relentless you know we've we can combo up and box with him all we want and we do their nice combo again but tony strong back tony strong back good shots you can see that he's picking good shots but he's walking backwards he's putting us under no real pressure whereby i feel like okay i need to get out of his range even though he's landing on me i don't feel like for one moment as you can see we tried a head kick there i i don't feel like for one moment he's making me feel like oh no he's gonna you know knock me out or really really hurt me goes for a flying knee there we just eat it on the guard pop to the body send him back again 
Now the whole time I'm landing these shots, I'm looking at his block and it's just being deteriorated really, really badly, combo after combo. You know, he's not exactly, um, he's not exactly swaying anything. He's not exactly ducking anything. He's just eating everything on his block. And as you can see there, a quick one, two, and it's really, really shredding the block very, very badly. And we're just gonna press forward, press forward, press forward. The block's gonna give out eventually. And I'm not saying to block break people, but some people, if they wanna keep moving backwards and just covering up as he is here, I don't wanna go to the body. I don't wanna get up and cut it again. You know, he's leaving me no choice but to pop it and pop it and pop it him. He's not throwing anything back at me that's worrying me. You know, knees to the body. Just try to get a little bit of your stamina reduced even more. But every shot I'm throwing at him now is trying to be a kill shot, you know, to hurt him, to knock him down. And you can see here now, we're just gonna throw a head kick. Again, targeting the block, uppercut, everything is popping him. And as a round goes, I'm happy with that. We backed him up, yes, he hurt us. But I feel like other than that, we completely dominated. Thanks for touching gloves, I do appreciate that. But again, look, backing up, no forward momentum. And he's not really taking, you know, my turn. He's letting me punch at him and he's not intercepting, he's not timing it. He's just letting me have my shot at trying to knock him out before firing back. Now he fires back, my block is nowhere near as hard to see so I can eat some of these shots to the block. But now he throws, we're just going to let him shell up, bop, bop, you know. Again, moving forward, probably a little bit of a range there but the hook landed nicely for us. Again, he's pressing forward a little bit more now, which is what he should have been doing from the start, but we hurt him in the clinch with the hooks. I think he initiated the clinch too, and that gets us our third win, leaving the little Diaz pose there. And that is placement match victory number three. We have the belt now, and we move on to fight number four. Now, before we move on to this fight, guys, I want to apologize. I really, really want to apologize. You're going to see why you're right from the off. This guy's internet connection was crazy, crazy poor. And the thing about it is I didn't want to make mistakes. You know, I didn't want to use head movement. I didn't want to try to get caught with something. I felt like I probably could have put this guy away within the first few minutes of the fight if I was allowed to stream, string my combos together like I wanted to. I feel like it would have been very, very short lived for him this fight, as you can see. But what happens because of stuff like that just there is that it's going to need to be a little bit more thoughtful with what we throw. I think I threw recklessly once in this whole fight. You'll see that in a few moments. But he's just popping uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. And the reason I don't want to sway the uppercut is because of the connection problems. You know, if I sway it and the game glitches and he gets a big shot in, it's going to ruin my video in fight number four. And I, I don't want that. As you can see, huge glitch there. I'm very, very sorry for it. I don't think it was on my side. I'm fairly sure it wasn't. So we're just backing him up. Do you notice that there's a theme in these fights that everyone's just kind of backing up, backing up, backing up. And as you can see, again, in glitches, I just want to throw shots at him. Glitch again probably would have allowed him to, you know, eat that leg kick, time the block on a big head kick up top, time that really, really well. No finishing available. Try the flying knee in the hopes that he drop his guard. But we're just going to go back to playing it safe, which is sad because this fight should have been, this fight should have been less than a minute in all honesty. Now he's spamming, you know, a spinning elbow. I need to be careful, kick up top. I think I tried to kick him up top. It was just the connection was so bad that, it, you know, redirected to the body. Again, very, very, very poor unfortunately but we're gonna stop complaining about that because that happens from time to time and we're just gonna think about the fight we know maybe we can put him under pressure so that's what we're gonna do shelling up big head kick up top blocked by him but at this stage we're just kind of walking him down i'm gonna kick the leg that's been previously damaged i think he went for a clinch there that's not gonna work either we're not gonna allow him the clinches as he spins big up top goes for two eyes he's very very annoyed i didn't duck the second one i would be honest Third one, that's okay, we're gonna eat it on the block because it's not really gonna affect us. Does he go for it again? No, he goes for leg kicks. He did go for it again, but we managed to time a combo in there, tried to duck that one. It's a very strange shot. It's not the way other fighters throw it. He's got a similar animation, I think, to the way Wonderboy can land that. So we need to be aware of it because it doesn't just seem to want to, you know, go over our head if we duck low. So we're gonna be careful. Keep our block up high, we're gonna allow him no big shots up top. If he wants 
to go to my body I'd be comfortable with that because I feel like the game may lag a little bit and allow me time to uppercut him so my sole reasoning for this fight and doing what I'm doing and not attacking the body like crazy is the fact that I think that if he's way out of range on that one we'll try our own shot he does it again we're just gonna block it like I said um drop him we should get the finish here you know I'm really really trying I don't want this to go more than around one second left in the round we do get the finish so I'm very very thankful for that placement match number four wrapped up done and I wanted to use another different fighter I don't want to use the same fighters all the time I don't think you guys have seen me use Tyron Woodley before so that's what we're gonna do for this last fight touch gloves thank you buddy do appreciate that as always except the thing with this one was I think that I kind of got a little bit okay so my thoughts for the first four fights were that I was very very um striking heavy and I was thinking some of you guys enjoy the striking most of you probably do but I'm sure there are those of you who enjoy a little bit of grappling as we get rocked but we're in no real danger uppercut should have done more they do a lot of head damage though when you look at the, the head health on him um I feel like a lot of you want to see striker striking but there is a there is a percentage of you out there that really do enjoy the grappling and sometimes you gotta you gotta lean a little bit towards that slightly even though I am I consider myself to be more sort of a striker than a grappler we get the knockdown go to the body two nice shots there so I start to um I start to think of that and maybe some of you want to see some grappling so I don't know when we initiate a first, I'm fairly sure it's soon because I feel like if he stands with us he's just going to get knocked out, he's eating straight rights and you don't get too many shots from Woodley overhand there, big uppercut rocks him again he throws the elbows, if I had pulled one of them it would have been night night big shot again trying to drain his stamina uppercut, big right, he's, 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 um, he's releasing, he's blocked perfectly in order for us to time the shots that we want to time and it's weird because it almost feels like having a dance partner that's in tune with you except he's literally eating the shots i want him to eat it's very very strange rock him again and there we go i knew we'd initiate the wrestling at some stage i thought it was sooner to be honest we go um we go top mount and we try to flatten out his back and from here we try to rain down some ground and pound you can see the first two i threw with the left but now we're going to rain down right hands because that's the side he's leaving open for us he gets out of there he has his energy still intact we want to try to drain his stamina more maybe get a submission do i go for an arm triangle here no i did not i thought i did it's strange for me to go for arm triangles i don't generally like the um the choke submissions i prefer the joint submissions i find them easier we denied that very easy denial back into top mount dominant position and we go for the armbar but none of his stamina drain which i feel like was a little bit strange his defense isn't great great but we're going to let him out because i knew i wasn't able to get that right then and there I, why do i have a feeling we're going to go for an arm triangle we did i did go for an arm triangle i've i think i've got uh choke submissions a very small handful of times in this game is now handful of time in handful of times in this game sorry guys i feel like if i stuck with that i might have got it even though there was um not much time left in the round but we're just going to rain down shots from the top to finish this off finish this round get into the next one and i can't see the fight getting out of this round i've done my little bit of grappling i don't want it to go too much longer i was feeling like the video was maybe dragging on a little bit and that was kind of something i was thinking about too because obviously this video is what 21 minutes long they don't want that to be the case so we're just going to land big shots like we did in in round one and we're going to not look to grapple we're just going to look to take them out because as i said you don't want these things to drag on so basically now i know one more mistake from him and this is up big shots rock him he gets out of there well really really avoids the uh overhand will I feel like that would have been a kill shot 100% but we rock him again with a 1-2, big shots to the body, uppercut up top, we leave him back up, go to the body, We're kind of flowing here, not as nice as I, I would want to but he's strong head kicks now, he needs a kill shot, he knows that and we're going to see him try his kill shot soon I think and that's going to, that's going to leave him vulnerable. So again he's just trying to put together combos, maybe you know set me up 
try his best to set me up with something big nice kick to the body but we're just going to stand in front of him and throw big shots at him i don't think we've taken any head damage at all head kick there step out of the way land to the body big drain the stamina a little bit more maybe hurt the body uppercut but lands on the guard step back into range tyron's got short little arms probably the biggest downside of using tyron woodley because he's beastly powerful but he's got really really short little arms small little reach especially for the division in a division where you can see the likes of um luke a connor you know there's long rangey fighters in the division wonder boy and unfortunately he doesn't fall into that category it's very disappointing we take him down again i didn't realize that i had taken him down again we uh look to transition he goes to side control does he get up from side control he shouldn't have got up from side control if he does no we force him up in that situation which is okay we go for a head kick mad out of range he throws one back and we finish the fight just like that five for five hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please subscribe and i'll catch you next time